Yeah, if I do get this... Actually, Kwaniza was like, yo, you should make a video about it. So I think I might. Problem is I actually have to get it. It is January 2021, the time in which I would begin my quest of maximum degeneracy. A huge claim to make coming from someone who speedruns children's video games. One picture, one picture to... Yes! No. Yes! All right. Woo. The quest in question is, of course, the King Boo Down Below IL World Record Grind, which IL is short for individual level, by the way. In order to acquire the King Boo record, you need to overcome some insanely low odds and get extremely lucky. But before we touch on that, I gotta establish the ground rules put in place by the Sunshine community as far as what is actually allowed for official level runs of this game. First and foremost, the in-game timer code that you'll see in the bottom left corner is the official timing standard. This timer also excludes load times, which allows for consistency between players, regardless of the platform they're using to play the game. King Boo down below contains a whopping three load times, so this makes quite a big difference. The final relevant points to make here is that the fast text codes are allowed for individual level records. Fast text replaces NPCs' usual text boxes with a single triple exclamation point box, and it makes a goofy noise. Alright, that just about covers all the necessary introductory information. I will occasionally interject with more explanations as the video goes on, but for now, let's get on to the highlight reel. Take it away, past Trey, who was trying to grow his hair out because I thought it would look cool, but I'm not really pulling it off. And why am I drawing so much attention to it? God, this video is so stupid. What am I doing? Hold on to your hats. Buckle up your seatbelt. Boom, okay. So King Boo, right? You know, you hope to get like fruits and then crap and then fruit and then crap and then fruit. Ideally, like in a run. But there's actually a thing, you see. So if you spray the slot machine on second phase after your first fruit, cancel it. Spray him again. There's a 1 in 64 chance you can actually skip an in-between the fruit cycle. And there's two of those. So, to get the IL world record in King Boo, you have to get two 1 in 64 chances in a row. And someone has actually done it. Orange117 actually got a perfect King Boo back in 2017. I don't know why he even did it, but he's a madman. Yeah, it's 1 in 4,096 odds. Assuming the other fruit you get are also fruit. Wait, what the hell am I talking about? So clearly I misspoke here. What I meant to say was assuming that the first cycle is a fruit. You know, the standard first spin that you do before even attempting cycle skips. Which, by the way, the first fruit has a 70% chance of showing up. Which means that the overall all odds of this record happening are a 1 in 5,851 chance. Not exactly, but you know, we're rounding it just for simplicity's sake. So why is it called a cycle skip, and where does 1 in 64 even come from? The only way to damage King Boo is with fruit, specifically a pepper to burn his tongue, followed by a second fruits to seal the deal. Anything else is total junk, and normally there are a couple junk cycles that are forced upon you. The ideal standard King Boo fight is comprised of 5 total cycles and has a 34.3% chance of occurring. With the power of cycle skips, we're able to bypass the two forced extra cycles. And for some odd reason, the side effect of performing a cycle skip is that the slot machine is able to land on any possible combination. There's 64 combinations total, and only one of them is the triple fruit that we need in order to, you know, get fruit. So now that we know the actual odds, let's get back to the footage. So yeah, this is day one. We're gonna do a no reset as our first attempt, just to establish a PB. I'm excited right now. I'm not gonna, like, be resetting for, like... Perfect movement here. That was a good talk. But it could make a difference. Good talks do make a difference. Not bad for our first no reset, I'd say. That was pretty solid. It's a shiny King Boo hunt, as Sid put it earlier. It's double the chances of getting a shiny Pokemon in Gen 1. Okay, so we cancel that. Go ahead and spray him. Hope we get fruit. Off to a great start. What if we get it first try? Oh my god. That was sloppy. Right. So now we spray him again. Immediately cancel it. It's still spinning. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. And if we miss it, we just wait it out. 
Yeah, it's only like normal. And just go from here. When I actually like establish a PB, I will begin uh, resetting for that. Okay, now wait, let's try it again. See if we get the one in 64. I forgot to cancel it as early as I could. Ah, shoot. One in 64 is not very good odds, is it? And more bubbles. Oh, more bubbles! And more bubbles. Oh, more bubbles! Is it world record? Not quite. 222. Current PB is 222. Let's see if we can beat that. Attempt number two. I'm gonna be a King Boo God. Oh, I didn't even do it. Actually, you know what? I may go for one cycle. What just happened there? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think if you're like on the ridge between two rings, that can happen. Oh, that's attempt two for you. You know what? Let's get some music on the on the subject here. A mother flipping golden eye soundtrack. Oh god. <laughs> that scared me. I don't know about you guys. Now you've woken up. I woke you up at 3 a.m. Actually, yeah, for now I'm gonna play King Boo as intended. I'm not gonna cycle skip till I get a decent, like, regular IL probably. I don't want a 222 PB. No. Reset. God. Dude. Nope. There we go. Insane pepper. Okay. And now we will start going for cycle skips every time. 209 even. I have a feeling it's going to be at this time for a long time. Would be a shame if I didn't get a cycle skip here now. Oh. Did I mess it up? <laughs> we got three in a row, but not the right thing. Stop bonking. What the? I should just like reset right now, dude. I don't care if I get cycle skip. If I cycle skip this one, I'll also be mad at myself. Are you kidding me? Well, there's one. <laughs> and I get the worst pepper of all time. Oh my god. I didn't save any time with it because I got god awful peppers, but you just need two of those and then boom. You know, this runs over. The odds are not in our favor. This guy, Orange, he's had this record for way too long. I'd say King Boo is the oldest IL record. Makes sense, because who the hell would want to do this? So I believe that this claim is actually true. For a brief moment, I thought that maybe Zapiku Kirby's Rico 4 Reds No Hover time might have been older, but he actually beat his own time in 2020. So I guess not. That counts. See, that wasn't question mark in the middle and it was still free. Your rule is fraudulent, Sid. Oh, I read your thing wrong. Pro tip on King Boo, if a question mark is present in the middle slots before you spin the slot machine leading up to a potential fruit cycle, you're 100% guaranteed to get fruit. Knowing this, I was asking my Twitch chat if there was, perhaps, a way of knowing when you're guaranteed not to get fruit so I could reset my attempts a bit quicker. Turns out, no such thing exists, there is always a chance of fruit showing up on the first spin, so you may as well wait it out every time. There's one. We have one, folks. We have one. Oh. Now you gotta wait it out. Yo, oh, nice. PvE, maybe? Oh my god, this is crazy. Woo! That's a huge PB. One cycle skip. One in 64 chance. Let's go. Sub two, yes. That's a second place time. That is actually a second place time in King Boo. I believe Noki Doki has a 201 with one cycle skip. All right, uh, things are looking really good so far. I had a huge stroke of beginner's luck on day one between two cycle skips within 35 attempts and a sub two minute PB to boot. Some people in my chat were even convinced that cycle skip odds may not be as rare as we thought they were. Boy, I wish. Going into day two, I made a couple upgrades to the stream layout. Minor thing first of all, I changed total attempts completed to the current attempt number to make that a bit less confusing. More importantly, I automated the attempt counter by using auto splitter software developed by Tofool, along with a counter called death counter and soundboard. I've also added a total timer to my attempts to really just rub in how much time I've truly wasted. So anyway, early into my day two session, this happened. Top three favorite tracks. <gasps> you know what happened there? He hit himself, and I didn't react to it, and then I 
kill them. <laughs> There's a really rare chance King Boo will hit himself with his own pepper, like spawn the pepper and it bounces back into his mouth. And that just happens. All right, woo, it didn't even matter. Oh wow, that's cool though, we got coins. You can actually get coins with full health with this, which is kind of cool. Need that dream luck. I bet dream can get like three perfect King Boos in a row. Yeah, apparently dreams luck is equivalent of getting 27 extra cycles in King Boo. And the most anyone's ever gotten legitimately is nine. So, <laughs> yeah. I would go on to claim my third cycle skip on attempt 78 with... Oh, pick it up, you fucking... ...moderate success. But alas, I was in for a real wake-up call when I experienced my first official drought. I'll go ahead and let future Trey define what a drought is for us. I'd say it's a drought when it's been at least 200 attempts without a cycle skip. Couldn't have said it better myself, future Trey. Although I guess it's not really future, it's more of a not as far into the past kind of thing. But uh, I think it sounds cooler to say future, so yeah. What am I doing? You really don't know what 1 in 64 odds feels like until you've grinded this before, by the way. You may think, you know, 1 in 64, 1 in 64, that's not that bad. It's been um, over 200 attempts. No matter how many times I miss it, we're still making progress. The big day when I get this King Boo. Oof. I'll be dancing in the streets. better start planning now. Dude, I was like so not used to seeing it. I was like, wait, is this real? Is this actually happening? Wait, moment of truth. Bruh. Could've been it. That could've been it. Oh, you just missed it, Samu. I just got one. And then I got two fruits on the second one. I was like one fruit away from destiny. It's Samurai Man. And the fact that Trey has got it only four times ever out of 300 attempts just tells a lot that it's just, it's so freaking random. <laughs> 48, holy damn. Let's get the bread. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna get it twice in a row. There is no way I will get it twice in a row. What the fuck, man? Actually, what the... I just got the Kim Pool Bell record. Just like that. Important news update in the world of King Boo IL grinding. Oh boy, this is juicy. There's a new King Boo world record by like six seconds by... Samurai man in our chat right now. He grinded his ass off. He put in the work. The one in 4,096 odds. He put in five attempts. It may have actually been more like seven attempts, but that doesn't really change anything, does it? He's a fifth attempt. He got it. You know, I gotta commend him for it. Stay tuned for this video in the future. It's, uh, it's a work in progress, but I'm sure it'll be great. Shout out to Rat for making that thumbnail. It just goes to show, though, anything can happen. Like, any... Any attempt could be it. Anyone can win the lottery. Anyone can enter Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Not just some spoiled kids. That being said, we're, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna keep going until we ourselves get a cycle skip, or the double cycle skip. And then regardless of if it's record or not, we'll just take that. We'll take our second place guaranteed time. God, why are you so cringe, Mario? Jesus Christ. Oh, that was almost a 47, dude. All right, give it to me. Would you look at that? 404 cycle skip not found. How many times am I going to get that exact, precise, pinpoint, one fruit away and one of them is one off of it pattern? The gay weed guy is here. This is, the planets are aligning. I feel the energy in the air. If I could grab the right fruit. No! Ah! <laughs>
I'll go to 421 because that one sucked. Oh shit, son. Now he will try. Oh, that was such a tease. You see that? I got diagonal fruit. Why can't it just be fruit? I don't want money, I want fruit. <laughs> I go to a casino to win fruit. No! Yeah, dude, I'm having the time of my life right now. You can't really YOLO throw a fruit because you have to be like in front of his mouth. So if it goes way out, you just have to do the walk of shame. Oh yeah, YOLO the fruit, guys. Oh, that does kind of work, huh? Maybe Sid's onto something here. YOLO. See, Sid, that's what usually happens. See, I fucked it up. That means that I'm right. Game's tough. But you know what's not tough is day eight of King Boo. King Boo's easy. It's chill. You just sit back and do them and pray and... of something. That's a 1 in 16 chance. I love the speaker life. I was always like about the headset life. But I just love like not having to put a thing on my head. Yo. I thought it worked for a second, but he just made a weird noise. That's pretty much what the task does three times in a row. I suck at any percent lately, but King Boo. King Boo, we're going strong. That's one, baby. Well, here goes nothing. No dice. Okay, this next clip might be the craziest thing that happened during this entire grind, and I don't say that lightly. I was feeling it with this victorious music. I mean, triple coin is hype. That's not what I want though. I feel like because of Gambler's Fallacy, I'm already screwed for today. Gambler's Fallacy is the belief that if a particular event occurs more frequently than normal during the past, it is less likely to happen in the future, when it has otherwise been established that the probability of such events does not depend on what happened in the past. Notice how I left the word incorrect out. Well, that's because it's not incorrect. It's real. And this is King Boo we're dealing with after all. It is a pretty haunted level. It's a ghost after all. So, uh, Gambler's Fallacy, I, I think it's actually a real thing. Uh, maybe that's just me though. But do you think they would call it Breath of the Wild too? That's probably just like a working thing. It's probably gonna be called like the Haunted Bookcase or some shit, you know? You know which VOD to go to if I called that. I was trying to think of like a better name for it because we all know it's real. Gambler's Philosophy. Because all philosophies are true. Gambler's prophecy. Huh? I'm the one channel on Twitch without channel points. So of course by the time my next stream rolled around, I added channel points. Purely for the prospect that channel point predictions seem like too much fun to pass up. Will I get one cycle skip? before attempt 777. Now, I would run these polls every single King Boo stream from here on out, and the beauty of these polls is that it's always statistically favorable to vote for no, so by voting for yes, it showed a real sign of courage and the fact that you're a true believer. Another interesting thing I didn't realize till I washed back some of this old footage is that adding channel points might have had a negative impact on my grinding mentality, in the case that my standards for my gameplay were much lower. 
For example, before I had channel points, I would have definitely reset a run like this one. Did I suck? I siggity suck. I'll keep it going just for the sake of the channel point thing. But because I knew that there were some believers hard earned fake money on the line, I was much less willing to reset because I knew I may as well finish a run out just to see if the believers can win this poll. Yeah, the, the JP hotel manager. I wish I knew what he was saying in Serena 6 on JP, because in English, he's just like, oh no, go clean it up. But in Japanese, he has like five sets of text boxes, and it's like, what is he saying? I'm genuinely curious. One away. It's very difficult, Mario. As you can see, in addition, there is graffiti everywhere. Why, you only have that water pump with you. The time is three minutes. <laughs> I love how it's like the most verbose way possible to say, yo, clean this shit up. I p double 777, what's it gonna be? Nothing. I'm a little bit rusty on my King Boo. It's a brand new, I'm in a whole new area. Oh It has a fireplace in it behind me. Uh, let's see what happens. Day 12, I was on a stream hiatus. That's my best start ever. 47 start. If this is it right now, then whoo, and it's over. When do I get bored of doing the same thing over and over again? Uh, never, because I'm a speedrunner. The amount of King Boo I've done is literally like a speck, like a minuscule infinitesimal compared to how much any percent I've played. Ah, dude, they were right there. I'm starting to believe Gambler's Fallacy might be real. Maybe not getting something a lot doesn't mean I'm more likely to get it. Actually, I'll get it again. You know what it is? Because it's been so long since my previous stream of this, Gambler's Prophecy resets because it's been so long since I've done it. But maybe it's still real, just like the luck resets between streams, you know? I've been going for four and a half hours and I'm still going. That's probably the longest stream world record, four and a half hours. Maybe someone's done five before. I don't know if they live to tell the tale, but four and a half. Ooh. King Boo, day 13, lucky number 13. Showed factory. That's four streams in a row with no cycle skip. If you're a true gambler, it's probably gonna be yes, but I could get unlucky for a fifth time in a row. Day 14. That was actually crazy. That was like six frame perfect inputs in a row, I think. I am so good at not talking. It's a very good lurk stream, yeah. <gasps> Finally, believers, you're welcome. Holy shit, finally, let's go. <gasps> what? What was that? Are you fucking- I think if you're, if you're like, like on, on the, the ridge between, between two, two rings, rings that can happen. happen. Of course, of course. That was like actually good fruit. Like I was like, I, that was like the setup. That was gonna be like solid pace. Did I literally, I got fruit stew stew before I swear. I think we saw that already. That's what Raza would say. I think we saw that already. Again? Spin the other way. Crowd wants to see a new trick. <gasps> Believers win again. Pretty good fruit too, okay, okay. Moment of truth. Oh, it was one away, it was one away, it was one away, dude, it was one away. I can't go on after that, that was, that was heartbreaking. Believers win, at the end of the day though, I'm still the one with a billion channel points, so you'll never beat me. It's time to give it up for day 15. Give it up for day 15. Bruh. I guess the reason one away happens so much is there's actually quite a few combinations with two fruit in it. Like, um, I want to say it's a 12 and 64 chance. All right, I was wrong. It's actually nine and 64, but feel free to keep laughing because it's actually way more embarrassing than it seems. I would preach the three over 16 statistic for the remainder of this grind. And I just now realized that's wrong while editing this video back. So that is just incredible. You will never see a triple digit attempt ever again. Let that sink in. Oh no, a zero is par partially covering the game feed. It's not a legal run now. Ooh. 
Yo, it's a fake run though. <laughs> All right, this could be it. Attempt 1000. I didn't script this at all. Wow. Gambler's Spiritual Awakening. Day 16. I need to make like people getting canceled on Twitter and do better. It'll be a new SMS vid whenever I get this King Boo IO, which is a mystery when it'll happen. Uh, except it's right now. That wasn't it. I think that last attempt that got a cycle skip was like one of the only times I've gotten one and not audibly gasped from it. <gasps> day 18 was, I believe, my shortest session of grinding out of any day of this whole grind. Primarily because this was the same day that the hyper hover exploit was discovered. And I was so full of optimism this was going to change the game and be so useful everywhere before it turned out to just have some really niche IL applications. If you want to know more about Hyper Hover stuff, I've linked a Twitter thread from Noki Doki in the description below. I also proceeded to get a quadruple 30% chance in a row, not getting fruits on the first spin four attempts in a row. That's a 0.81% chance, more rare than a cycle skip, so just incredibly bad luck. Day 19, I was informed by Sided Williams of the grab buffering technique. Basically, you want to hold the B button before the fruit even spawns so that when the pepper shows up, you can just run into it and grab it with no risk of bonking. One other time saver worth mentioning is the elusive, uh, what was it called again? Future, not actually future tray? Early ground pound? 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 Early ground pound, though. Ah, yes, early ground pound. Early ground pound is a seemingly random occurrence where Mario's ground pound on the purple roulette tile will instantly affect it before the ground pound even pounds the ground. I call it elusive because everyone knows about this, but no one really knows how to do it consistently. I'd say I get it about 25% of the time, and it saves about half a second, so honestly, pretty substantial time save. Congratulations, it's a grandma. I just want to be left alone. There's one in the nick of time, boys. One away, one away, what the fuck? One away, one away. Day 20 of torturing myself, I mean playing King Boo. Dude, that was cracked. Too bad it's not the run. Believe it or not, I haven't played King Boo for 22 hours straight, although I wished I did. Could day 21 be the day? Dude, that was the exact same thing twice in a row. A gambling problem? This is a gambling solution. I'm not paying any money for this. That was the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, attempt leap went down and shamed, didn't it? 52. Oh, dude, of course we get one. I get a C of 49s, 48s. 50s. Now here's a 52. Like an actual slot machine, you know. 47. Oh look, we got a 47. I think we're gonna get a cycle skip. Oh. Surprise Pikachu face. I just realized it's important for you to wear cat ears while doing these. If cat ears increased my chances of getting this by even 1%, I would do it. Are there like humans in Hot Wheels or is it just like cars? Are there humans in the Hot Wheels universe? You have a colorful cast. You got Jim, Tim, Dylan, and Sarah, the Hot Wheels drivers. Just as my Hot Wheels Velocity X soundtrack was coming to an end, I would finally pass the 24 hour mark. And then YouTube started auto-playing a random R. White Goose video, so I guess that's truly remarkable. Most ups and downs. <laughs> began on a low note, losing lots of games. This is our music now. This is our music. With 24 hours of King Boo under my belt, I took a break from streaming to work on my video about Double Dash Shortcuts. During this break, however, the unthinkable happened. A new challenger comes. 
Noki Doki would ultimately get a double cycle skip of his own and net himself a pretty solid second place time. But this wasn't just any old run of the mill double cycle skip, oh no, he actually managed to get this, I kid you not, during an any percent speed run. I mean, just, just think about all the hundreds of attempts I've done doing it just one after the other, just continually grinding the same level, right? And then this guy just goes in, you know, regular full game run, all right, full any percent speed run doing the whole game, gets to King Boo, just goes for the cycle skips and just gets them. Like that, that is just insane, insanity. Granted, it wasn't as insanely lucky as Samurai Man. I mean, Noki Doki was actually doing an IL grind of his own. It just so happened that the time he actually got it, it was during a run. So it's just kind of insane that it actually worked out that way. Day 23, we took a month long break to work on the Double Dash video, but we're back. We're 24 hours and three minutes in. But we're back for another 24 hours, I'm sure. My fruit throwing and kicking skills are still maybe marginally better than they used to be, but my fruit knifing skills are remarkable. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Step aside, Grant Kirk Hope. Fuck. Actually, no, I'm convinced that I'm no better at fruit now than I was before this whole grind even started. <gasps> there we go. It's day 24. Ooh. All right, so at this point, I'll stop showing off the 47 first fruit times that I get. Essentially, I just wanted to show how it took me about 800 attempts to get my first 47 start, and then I would slowly start to get 47s more and more frequently to the point where later in this grind, I'm getting at least one pretty much every session. So even though my fruit grabbing skills haven't improved, my overall execution certainly has, so it's pretty cool to see that. Looking like I'm not gonna get one today. The more days you don't get one, the more likely you are to get one the next time. Gambling Axiom. If you just flip a nickel and it lands on its side, that's the same chance as this happening. Nothing is more embarrassing about what I did in uh, the SDA forums in 2012. I was like, yo, someone tried to do Yoshi Skip in episode one. Yo, if you're able to do Yoshi Skip, I have a revolutionary idea. Trying it in episode one. Like, I would do it, but like, I, I physically can't because I suck too much. The longer it takes me, the better the content is, right? So while I'm losing, I'm actually slowly winning as time goes on. Samu blew his load too early. You gotta like ride out a few thousand attempts first. Oh shit, water time. Um, cool pepper, I guess. I'll drink to that. It's casino time. Don't tell Twitch. Hey, Twitch is cracking down on Mario. slot machine streams. So don't Come on. make sure no Come on, Twitch staff sees this King Boo grind, all right? It's no gotcha game. There's no pity mode. This is just a hard gamble right here. I think if you're like on the road between two rooms, I can have a. Well, 17.38, off to an amazing start. Surely this will be the run. I dedicate this run to chillin' dude, even though I bonked immediately. This is so dumb. <laughs> well, my favorite song in Pokemon Coliseum, maybe all of Pokemon, it's when you play that guy who has like two Zigzagoons. There's like a unique song for that one battle and it's so good and it only plays for that one battle. Finally! Oh my god, believers were shaking in their boots, but not anymore also. Really good second phase, amazing second phase. Let's go. This might have potential to be not a bad run if it's the run. I think that the compliments I've received this stream have confirmed that long hair is just not my style. 30 days into this grind is when things started to get a little bit desperate. Yeah, wait, what if you could like somehow use smoldering stews to hurt King Boo? J just a little bit. You can knock smoldering stews, like you spray them and you like knock them into stuff. That's a regular stew, but um, 
Wait, I missed. Ah, oh, it's hard when the fucking donut's spinning. It goes a random direction? Oh, King Boo is using his mind control to make it not hit him. No, it went right through him. Good, now we can finally move on. Wait, what if bombs work though? I guess I'll be the Borigami King. Is this Paper Mario or Lion King? <laughs> 70. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Just kill me, Bubbles. Just kill me. <laughs> my PB is literally from like my 34th attempt. I was popping off day one. Holy shit, this is epic. I'm using this song in the 120 history redux montage that I do. I'm already calling it. 50, 49, 47, baby! And it's dead because I didn't get for it. I would soon acquire my next cycle skip, which was on pretty good pace, until it wasn't. I had 19 cycle skips after about 1900 attempts, which statistically checks out. So, earlier in the video, that clip of Future Trey defining what I consider to be a drought was during attempt 2186. A pretty far ways out from cycle skip number 19, but not even halfway through the woods. It's 1984 after all. My great grandkids will get this. You don't have a ghost of a chance. Though it's like, it's like a shift-based thing. Wow, really? That is the worst pepper luck I've ever seen in my entire life. I gotta have like a name for every pattern possible. Middle class stews. Do you want to buy my pineapple? Stew buying a pineapple. Stew having a pineapple bonanza. <laughs> I can be very creative with these. Sigma male grind set. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Profit. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Stew Jamboree. Stew's having lunch. Stew paying for his lunch. Stew's having a bit of a scrap over who gets to eat food or not. See, the context really changes if the pineapple's between them or on the side of them. I could basically read hieroglyphics if I tried. Any pyramid, any Yu-Gi-Oh card, I can translate it. Ah, oh, the Triforce of Fruit. Diagonal Fruit, Inverse Triforce. Omega Triforce of Fruit. Inverse, inverse Omega, Omega Triforce. 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 Don't bother naming that one because it never shows up. I'm on my biggest drought ever currently. I got a good feeling about 2468. 2468, you're great. I'm bad. <gasps> it's over! Oh my god, it's over. Ah. At least our copy of the game is fixed now, apparently. Our world record drought 521 attempts. You know, despite the drought, I actually managed to acquire three different any percent PBs within this time frame, but that's neither here nor there. You're here for my suffering, not my achievements. The sad reality is that I'm no closer to that double cycle skip now than I was before this whole grind even started. Unless of course you believe in Gambler's Prophecy, in which case we're getting closer with every attempt. And one last thing worth pointing out, which you may have already noticed, is that I actually have brand new practice codes, which include a admittedly kinda ugly speed position and angle display, but more importantly, it has a visually freezing timer on load times. Such a small change led to a massive boost in motivation to optimize my entry times. I shot for ideal benchmarks of a sub-11 hotel entry, sub-16 casino entry, and sub-21 boss fight entry. Though ultimately, the randomness of fruit spawning is still king when it comes to how much time you lose. I haven't played King Boo in two months. I was making my spin jump video or whatever, but we're back. For more, for more King, King Boo. Boo. Probably a couple thousand. Ooh. There we go. I've done a lot. Ooh, shit. We're back in business, baby. And a good grab. Yo, this is actually really good. This could be big. This could be big. One away, boys. Dude, still, that that should be a PB. I don't know what universe that doesn't PB. Not bad. 56. 
That was like really solid fruit all three phases. And I'll finally update this PB on here. Dude, I bet I could like save so much time if I just like hired a nerd to RNG manipulate King Boo. I'm gonna hire a nerd to get a, a 113 for me. I'm tired of grinding. I think this joke is so funny because it's like implying that like the speedrunner itself is not already the nerd. Okay, one more. <gasps> Very last attempt, are you kidding me? Three, a hey, three of something. That's pretty dope, right? I almost PB'd again. Wow. So literally two runs beat my original PB before today. What I'm doing on King Boo would be illegal in some countries. There's one. There's one for the books. My friends, this pepper kind of sucks. No! No! Pick it! Oh my god! Oh, well, we got one. Wow, I was one away. But no, that wasn't it, thank god. Europeans be like, among us. Ooh! Dude, mid 47, this better be the run. One in 4,096, let's get it. And it's gone. How did I grab that? I grabbed that from so far away, holy shit. And then I clutched the goddamn grenade launcher. Dude, that is a timeless video. I will watch that video when I'm 50 years old. And this will be funny. And this run sucks. 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 I actually guessed that perfectly, Jesus. Wow, okay, literally that fruit was so perfect that despite the shitty entry, that was still a 48. Fruit is most of the battle, and it's over. Man, I wish I was grinding Sandbird. I'm enjoying the Sandbird grind, but here we are. Getting triple coin. Oh, triple coin. Dude, I've never gotten three triple fruit in the same thing, but I can get three triple coin apparently. This money's worthless, I want fruit. Anyway, it's day 462. Whoa, Jaycock, thanks for the insane raid. We're just doing the most skill-based level of all time. Oh, dude. <laughs> that has the Jaycock for that. <laughs> ah, okay. See, that's the Pac-Man. We saw the reverse Pac-Man earlier. That's the Pac-Man. 50 hours, I could have been out curing cancer, but uh, I decided not to. God damn it. Well, King Boo time. Woo! I think it's actually legit day 50 of King Boo. It took Samurai Man seven attempts, and the one that really matters is gonna be the one that you miss. <gasps> and I spoke too soon, because you... Oh my god, what did it bounce off of? It's fine. That was still pretty good. Oh. Dude, third attempt. That's a new record for like how early I got one. I'm pretty sure you cannot make fruit float in this level. In fact, I'll even prove it. There's like certain levels in this game where fruit behaves differently. It just like falls down. Pretty ducked up if you ask me. All I can think about is that people get shiny Pokemon. So... And like, I'm people. So shouldn't I be able to get a shiny King Boo? I think the logic adds up. It just hasn't happened yet. So day 51 was my longest session yet because I decided to do attempts while watching the 2021 Game Awards. And I knew it was going to be a pretty long show, but my god, this show is like crazy long. Genshin Impact is trending on Twitter apparently ah! now. Experience, experience, experience. He said the word three times. This whole event feels like an ad because it's an ad and then an ad. Yeah, they just like announced the winning game so I could stop playing Kong Bo. Like many of you are <laughs> <laughs> You're just stuck playing <laughs> Kong <laughs> Bo until I die. <laughs> until I die. Focus. I feel like that's fine. Finally, I got one 10 years later. Thank God. Nice. That'll be a. Oh. 
Wow, I'm shocker, I didn't get it. To be honest. There's one. Just like that. Now my pepper. Dude, these are like the worst peppers ever. Are you kidding me? I am glad that was not the run. I'm telling you guys, I'm feeling a Christmas miracle coming. Darn. Oh, can't believe it wasn't the run, guys. I'm rusty at King Boo. Three of something. Three coins. Two three of somethings in a row. That's a double one in 16 chance. Also, we just passed um, five, 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 five. My goal, luck-wise, is to not have to add a third hour's digit. Dude, it's crazy how like any of these runs could be the run. Like this could be the run. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is it. Oh. Oh. 11 even. That's how you know it's Pokemon when it goes like. That's how you know it's Pokemon. This bed is such a scam. I think doubters and believers both lose somehow. Okay, check this out. I don't know if I can really show this that closely, but like. The whole thing is like coming apart. Finally! Drought, no mo. See, this is why you always gamble, because gambling, gamblers always win. Unless you voted no, then I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 51. A little rough, don't you think? But, you know, it's gonna have to do. Okay, we're doing King Boo. You see, that's one of those mistakes that it will happen occasionally. Like, there's no way around it. It's Murphy's Law. Yo! This is King Boo Day 58. What's poppin' Fred? Frederick Electronic Dishwasher. Ooh, no more heroes. All right. Ah, sheet. What I'm doing right now, this is like the kind of content the internet was made for. Pointless grinding of a thing that no one cares about to achieve a Nobel Peace Prize, of course. Let's get ready to rumble. I think that I'm actually approaching Zelpiku Kirby on Rico 4 Turbo Reds. Because he had like 30 hundred something. That was it, that would have been so good. So if I get it on attempt 4055, I am technically not unlucky. And you, I think, get some motivation. Ooh, nice, there we go. What? Uh, I guess I just missed spraying it. So I kind of wasted a cycle skip, but you know, it's no big deal. There's always going to be another chance. I'm sure we're going to get at least one in the next 100 attempts or so. I mean, after all, that mega drought that we saw earlier was a pretty large statistical outlier. And besides, I mean, if the mega drought was so great, why isn't there a... I'm going down to hell, I'll just watch my Y position go down. Approaching 4,000, approaching 4,000! Oh my god. I literally saw that pattern like 10 attempts ago, isn't that crazy? That literally happened! Last attempt, same pattern twice in a row. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. 
It finally happens. The drought be over, boys. And we got good fruit. Believers? Believers, where are you at? And... Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. What? Is this the dawn of a new era? Dude, that was one away. What the fuck? It's moments like this that keep me going, I swear. Someone went all in on no. That is like the single biggest transfer of wealth in this stream I've ever I've ever witnessed. There's going to be a million water drinkages in here. I haven't eaten food in three days. Or slept. I've just played King Boo for three days straight. I think I literally have like 250 gigabytes of King Boo footage on my hard drive right now. I got like a few points of inspiration for this grind. You know, you got Chain Chomp Brayden. He's put in multiple thousand hours to a Mario Maker level. He got that one guy in that video from Cybershell. He got to level 99 in the first area of Final Fantasy VII. People have done crazier things, right? I should also mention that Cali W with his extensive Dam 52 grind was another big inspiration to me. So shouts to Cali W. If you're wondering why I have a copy of Shadow the Hedgehog here, uh, I have no idea why. This is a special King Boo moment. Noki Doki recently got another. I'm slapping the table. Another double cycle skip in a run. Noki Doki's done that twice. In a run, just like oh you know I'll just go for it in a run. So now I am convinced the PAL version has better odds somehow. So we're playing the PAL version. I downloaded it. I mean, I bought it legitimately for the first time in the history of this stream. We are seeing the PAL sunshine screen. Giosa. Copium. I just want a Mario game where he says, Damn, not here. Let's go, France. Oi, 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 oi. Darn. All right, what do we got? Yo, it's this song. We're gonna go douche. The Forgotten Language. The Forgotten Language. The forgotten language. Oh, Los. Los is good. See, the French language has like this huge est party and it covers up like everything. I'm down with Los though. Is this loss? <laughs> no other big skips exist. <gasps> Here we go. No. Fatigue is just fatty goo, if you think about it. What I don't get is like, why would you buy Just Dance when you could just dance? Why don't you just dance? You could just dance. Oh, what do you know? Oh, what do you know? Oh, what do you know? So it turns out that I only have footage of the final 20 minutes of day 78 since I messed up my settings when I downloaded the VOD. Unfortunately, this means the footage of the two cycle skips from attempt 4371 and 4378 are both gone forever. Though honestly, I'm sure the gameplay looked a lot like the previous 35 cycle skips that we've seen, so you're probably not missing much. What am I fighting for? Have you considered adding a double cycle skip? I, I considered it Meadows, but I don't know, man. That would just be like robbing people's point. That, that's literally a scam. That's like a certified scam option. I would just feel too mean doing that, you know? If you redeem... If you redeem a cycle skip, I'll get a cycle skip. I should have had a YOLO option. He's right. Dude, it was three of something. <gasps> no way. You know what? Have some more fruits. <gasps> what was that about guaranteed no, by the way? No fucking way, it was one away. <laughs> I know, I know they're rookie numbers and you're probably wondering why it's not 200 hours or something. Oh, it's Gaybora Kepora. Gaybora Gaybora. Gay Gaira Gay Gaira. <laughs> Bonafide Sonic fan. <gasps> and an early cycle, uh, early cycle, cycle skip then. That's what I am. Not the run.
Okay, that was interesting. I feel like my head's just like not in the game. You know, my head used to be in the game, now it's not in the game. I'm just... Like, the game is playing me. The game is in my head, I'm imagining everything. Yeah, man. This game's not even real, if our eyes aren't real. Huh, 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 huh. Mirrors aren't even real if my eyes aren't real. Oh, shit. Huff with the good luck. Imagine if I grabbed it like that, dude. Let's go. Kind of mediocre so far, but it's something. Is this the run? Oh! <gasps> no way! No fucking way! Get it! Oh! Dude, it happened! <laughs> it's not world record, but it happened! <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Dude, that was so bad. <laughs> but it finally happened. <laughs> Oh man, that was not as climatic as I was hoping for. So the run, it wasn't a very good start. And then second fruit was like kind of decent-ish. And the third fruit, I could have grabbed it so much better, but I was freaking out too much. Oh. But it's a PB. And uh, we got one, so. Well, there's your double cycle skip. It took us 4,854 attempts. This is like a round when you're expecting to get it. So I guess we did it. You know, it was third. This is actually a third place time. I just spent over 86 hours to get a third place time in King Boo. Totally worth it. Wait, before I end the video, I've got a quick bonus clip to share. About a month after my double cycle skip, I attended the European Speedrunner Assembly where I had the opportunity to not only compensate a 96 shines run, but also perform the gameplay of the King Boo level. Sadly, I did not end up getting a cycle skip. However, I'd like to share this footage of the first time I ever practiced this level at the event. Shout out to Rasmus for capturing this footage. The notches are Canadian. Yeah. Wait, they don't have notches? Uh, they're just they're like, like worn. so worn down. No, right. Well, I'm used to them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yup, being in Europe is definitely OP for getting cycle skips. 